the Israelites had managed to tick God off. Seriously, seriously, furiously ticked off. They'd just gotten out of Egypt. God had just rescued them from Egypt. And before any time had passed at all, it seemed, they were grumbling and complaining. And God was upset. Psalm 78 is retelling the story. And it says it, it puts it this way. In Psalm 78, verse 21, when the Lord heard them, he heard the people complaining, he was furious. His fire broke out against Jacob and his wrath rose against Israel for they did not believe in God or trust in his deliverance and he is seriously, seriously, seriously upset at them. And what do you think came next? They have managed to make God, quote, furious. What happens next? Well, let's, let's, let's read the next couple of verses, 23 and 24. Yet he gave a command, God gave a command to the skies skies above, and opened the doors of the heavens. He rained down manna, special divine bread, for the people to eat. He gave them the grain of heaven. They ticked God off, and God responded with food. God responded with love because he may have been mad, but he did not forget his promise. He did not forget his covenant. It reminds me of Romans chapter 5, verse 8, which says that when we were still sinners, when we were still doing things that intentionally ticked God off, that Jesus died for us. And by the way, that works now too. We do things, and we don't want to make this a habit, but we do do things that upset God, and God's response is always love and forgiveness. It's never wrath. Because God will not forget his promise and the promise he made to you when you accepted him. The promise he has to love us and bring us to himself does not falter, even if we make him mad. And that's today's jumpstart.